Princess Kate's seven self-imposed guidelines for raising George, Charlotte, and Louis. Today is Princess Kate's 42nd birthday, and she will undoubtedly be treated by her kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Princess Kate's interest in early childhood development is evident in her own household, as a royal expert has disclosed how the future queen is embracing a more modern approach to parenting. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, the three children of Kate and Prince William, will start their new school year at Windsor's Lambrook School this week. With the intention of emphasizing the value of a child's first five years of existence and how they affect the adults they will become, the princess started her Shaping Us campaign about a year ago. As former royal correspondent Jenny Bond told Oka Magazine, the whole ethos of early development is something that a lot of parents are learning alongside Kate because it's quite a radical new way of parenting. Her methods are also helping her own children grow up well-behaved and well-adjusted. It is based on the principles of respect for one another, tolerance, understanding, and letting the kid take the lead. It usually involves examining the child's own emotions, confusions, and suffering. In order to enable her kids enjoy safe and contented private lives, despite their royal status, Kate has adopted seven vital guidelines for parenting. Kate and William never yell at George, Charlotte, or Louis when they misbehave at home in Adelaide Cottage. According to a royal source, any hint of yelling is dealt with by removal. Rather than using this, the kids take a break and William or Kate gently speak to them on what is called the chat sofa in order to help them develop good communication skills. According to the source, Either William or Kate will gently speak with the youngster after removing them from the area of the argument or disturbance. They never yell at them. Instead, they define the situation and its repercussions. Even though the Wales children are members of the royal family, they are nevertheless expected to assist with household chores. Getting the kids to tidy up or sort their clothes is probably a pain for them but it is a blessing in disguise, Ms. Bond stated. They might live their whole lives being waited on, never knowing what life's like for the rest of us. It follows that by expecting them to behave like normal youngsters, William and Kate are doing them a great favor. One day, they'll give their parents thanks. Kate and William, like parents everywhere, have to keep an eye on their kids to make sure they're not wasting too much time in front of screens. The family is well known for their love of the great outdoors, and Kate would rather the kids spend their time playing sports or outside, since these activities are important for strengthening family bonds. According to a source, the family values spending time outside, doing crafts, and spending time away from devices. This emphasis on spending time together without screens strengthens family ties and fosters communication. The couple is encouraging meaningful interactions within the family and helping their kids develop a healthy and balanced relationship with technology by enforcing a screen time limit. The younger royal generation has stressed how important it is to look after one's mental health and to be at ease enough to discuss any and all emotions. Royal analyst Jenny Bond noted that William is building on the model established by his mother Princess Diana. Yet with Kate, he is able to provide his own children with a more solid family home. Being different is tough, Ms. Bond continued. Since George, Charlotte, and Louis are not like their friends, they are extremely fortunate to have parents who support them in talking through their issues and expressing their emotions. Since Kate and William have acknowledged that their children need time to unwind and just be kids, Royal children are no longer expected to behave in an entirely official manner at all times. This was especially clear at the Platinum Jubilee, where Kate let little Louis act silly and make expressions whenever he became bored, so long as he behaved appropriately. The Prince and Princess of Wales are aware of their luxury, and more importantly, they never want George, Charlotte, or Louis to lose sight of their good fortune or their position to assist others. Just before Christmas, 
the kids accompanied their mother to volunteer at a baby bank close to their Windsor home, where they helped to provide gifts and necessities to newly arrived families. Because William and Kate want their family's life at home to be as normal as possible, employees at their royal office are permitted to wear more casual attire.